Hey everyone, Burned here from Burnstone TV Gaming back with another money making guide for Albion Online and welcome to another episode of The Billionaire Project. This is the series where I share money making methods with real calculations and real results. Today I want to talk about how I made 198% profit with only tier 3 bags. Yes, that's right, 198% or almost tripling what I invested in this method. As always, you do not need focus or specs for this method. Stay until the end of the video for another giveaway and let's get into it. This method was actually shared to me about a year ago but I was not yet familiar with the black market then. Now that I frequently sell items and resources to both the Carillion and the black market, I finally gave it a shot. I combined my tried and tested resource refining method with tier 3 bag crafting. By crafting the resources myself, I save a lot on initial cost. I will leave a video link in the description if you want to know more on how I make a lot of profit by using the resource refining method. There is nothing complicated with this method like my other money making guides. On the previous video, I proved that you do not need a mammoth to use my guides to become profitable so I used a grizzly bear. But even that got a comment that you need millions to make a ton of profit, which is entirely false. Which I will explain more in the end of this video. For this crafting session, I used a grizzly bear with an 8.3 shoes and an 8.3 back. And of course, with the help of a pork pie. With all these gears, I was able to carry 5,568 pieces of tier 3 leather and the same amount for tier 3 cloth which was then transported to Carillion. Before I proceeded to crafting, I bought tier 3 tinker journals from the laborer for 933 silver each because it was a lot cheaper than buying from the Carillion market. Always make sure to have the proper journals with you when crafting because it does add a bit more profit per session. I then proceeded to craft all of the resources to tier 3 bags. Once again, I did not use focus nor rely on specs for this method. I also did not use any food. At the end of the crafting session, I was able to craft 831 tier 3 bags with various qualities, and I was able to fill 164 tinker journals. I sold the filled journals to the Carillion marketplace and sold the tier 3 bags to the black market. I directly sold some of the tier 3 bags to fill the buy orders when there was minimal differences between the current buy order and the lowest sell order but I placed most of them for sell orders for one silver less than the current price. The tier 3 bag is one of the items that quickly gets sold in the black market. So quick in fact that I was able to sell all of the 831 bags in less than 24 hours after crafting. And I have been doing this method every single day to generate over 1.5 million silver per crafting session. Now let's take a look at the cost analysis. The resources only cost me just a little under 660k because I refined them myself, even with the high usage fees on refining plots. The empty journals set me back 153,000 and the overall usage fee was 31k because of the low usage fee during the time of this recording, which makes the total cost equal to 844,000 silver. The bulk of the sales came from selling the bags to the black market, which was over 2 million silver. And the filled journals were sold for a total of 474k, which makes the total sales equal to 2.5 million silver, and the overall profit for this crafting session equal to 1.67 million silver, or that's 198% profit, which is my biggest percentage profit so far. Now for the comment that says you need to invest millions of silver to make my methods profitable. If a player who is just starting to craft invest just 100k on this method, they would have received 297,000 back for their efforts. If they invested 500k, they would have received a little under 1 million back. What I'm saying is that my methods are based on percentage profits which is a far better measurement of effectiveness of money making methods in my opinion because it will be based on how much the player invests and computes how much he is estimated to make out of the method. So it doesn't matter how much you invest, you will get the same percentage profit out of it. 
This video was uploaded on May 23rd, but I shared this method to my YouTube members and sponsors on May 18th, complete with the calculation and the steps needed for this method as part of their perks. They also get access to the various calculators that I use to make more silver in Albion Online. Active members and sponsors will also get the calculator that I used specifically for this method on June 1st, 2021. So if you like what you see on this channel and want to support what I do, click that join button next to the subscribe button and you too can enjoy these perks. With your support, I can also continue to provide high quality money making guides and of course, to continue all of my giveaways. So join the awesome sponsor squad now. Now for the giveaway. All you have to do to enter is to like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment your in-game name. That's it. You are then qualified to win the giveaway which is based on the number of likes this video gets and the number of watch time in minutes. So the more likes and watch time this video gets, the more silver will be given away. So make sure to share this to your friends and help them make more silver in Albion Online. Feel free to join my Discord channel as well where I chat with my subscribers and answer their money making questions. I also host weekly giveaways over there and of course the scavenger hunts where I buy specific items for 1 million silver each. That's it for the entire video guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. But until then, this has been Bernard from Burnstone TV Gaming saying do something you love every single day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!